Here are our solutions to test number one for 376 embedded systems. On this test, we're looking at binary inputs and outputs, along with assembler programming. Now, the first problem has come up with a circuit that outputs zero volts when a resistor is less, more than 2,500 ohms, five volts when less. So what it should get is something kind of like this. So this is backwards. When R is bigger than 2,500 ohms, output 0 volts. When it's less than 2,000 ohms, output 5 volts. And I get this kind of hysteresis pattern, a little Z pattern. That's the Schmidt trigger. Now the first step is convert resistance to voltage. It's pick your favorite resistor. In this case, it's based on your birth date make each test a little bit different. So this is 14, 14 ohms. Then the voltage at this point is going to be your R1 over R1 plus R2 times 5 volts, 2.84 volts. At 2,500 ohms, it's R1 over R1 plus R2 times 5 volts, 3.11 volts. So this is where it turns off, 3.11. And here's where it turns on, 2.85 volts. The on voltage is less than the off voltage, so connect to the minus input. The on voltage is the offset, and the slope is the gain. The output changes by 5 volts, as the input changes by 0.26, 6 volts, gives you a slope of 18, make that 18 to 1. So that's the Schmidt trigger for problem number 1. On problem number 2, come up with a circuit that lets a pick drive a 20 watt LED. So here's the specs on the LED, 36 volts at 600 milliamps. This is a diode, so the VI characteristics kind of look like this. This is the voltage, that's the current. The voltage is roughly 36 volts anytime you have current flow. Um, current is proportional to light. If you want the light level to be something different based on your birth date, then the current will be proportional. So the current is that proportion of full brightness, full brightness is 600 milliamps, I want 504 milliamps. So this should be 504 milliamps. To find RC, you find the voltage drop. So I've got 50 volts, I lose 36 volts across the LED, 0.36 volts across the transistor, the remaining voltage is across R, that much voltage at that much current gives you 27 ohms. So RC is 27 ohms. For the base current, IB, there's a lot of room for slot for that. I just want to make sure that IB is greater than beta IC. So divide IC by beta, divide by 200. IB has to be at least 2.52 milliamps. It can't be more than 25 milliamps, because that's all a pick can do. So pick a number bigger than 2.52, less than 25. I chose 10. At 10 milliamps, the voltage drop across this resistor, again here's the diode, that means 0.7 volts. Here's your pick, 5 volts. 4.3 volts at 10 milliamps is 430 ohms. Problem 3. What's the result after each instruction? So if I start at 5, 14, 15, when I increment B, put the result in B, 14 goes to 15. Decrement port C, put the result in W, 15 minus 1 is 14. Add port B to W, put the result in port B, 14 plus 15 is 29, put the answer in port B. Do a logical AND, 14 is 8, 4, 2, 1, that's binary 14, ANDed with 7. Wherever I see two ones, I get a 1, so the answer is 0, 1, 1, 0, it is 6. Uh, set bit number 4 of port B. So 29 is 16, plus it is 24, 28, 29. So there's 29 binary. I want to set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Set this guy right here. Getting count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's number 4. It's already set, so no change. I want to clear bit number of 2 of port C. 
So 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1. Here's bit 0, 1, 2. Clear this bit. Gives me 1, 0, 1, 1, which is binary 11. Move 7 to W. Add port B to W. Put the result in port B. 7 plus 29 is 36. Subtract W from port C. Put the result in port C. 11 minus 7 is 4. Answer goes in port C. And clear port B. Problem 4. This looks at generate the function C is the maximum of A and B in assembly. So here's the C code. In assembly, I could do that by first checking is A greater than B. Move B to W. Compare a skip if greater than, if A is greater than B, skip. So if I skip, I go down here, move A to C, then jump to the end. Otherwise, I don't skip and go to B, move B to C, go to the end. So that's the function A greater than B. In terms of clocks, it takes, these are compiler directives that just says that whenever you see an A, it means zero. Here's the first line of code. That's one, two, three. If I don't skip, four, five, six for go to, seven clocks. The other path is one, two, three. If I do skip, four, five, six. It takes six or seven clocks for this code to execute. Uh, the last one is convert to assembly. So this line of code right here is move FF to Tris B, clear Tris C and D. Keep looping, kick out when RB0 is 1. So bit test skip if set, if it's a set I skip out, otherwise keep looping. Increment D6, put the result in D6. Move 6 to W, compare skip if greater than, if it's greater than I skip out, otherwise jump to label 6. Label 5, move 1 to, to W, move 1 to D6, 1 goes to W, W goes to D6. Increment D10, put the result in D10. Check. Move 10 to W, skip if greater than, if D10 is greater than 10, skip. If I skip, I reset it to 1, otherwise jump down to line, to label 9. Label 8, move 1 to W, move W to D10. Uh, copy D6 to port C, copy D6, D10 to port D, and then check. If it's a 1, I go back to label 3. So on a 1, I go to label 3, otherwise I go to label 2. And that's test number 3 for 376.